Eva Patong, she joins us from London. She's a political analyst. Eva, good to have you on uh, with us. The U.S. learned about this uh, killing through its intelligence, but had little more information to share. Uh, I'm wondering if you believe this report to be true. Uh, thank you for having me, Rachel. Uh, yes, um, this is. Uh, uh, th there are many questions which are raised up at the moment because this killing has happened uh, uh, quite a, a few days ago, uh, but it has been reported uh, on yesterday that uh, it, it was confirmed that uh, the masterminder who killed over 200 people uh, at the airport uh, of Kabul just before the U.S. withdrawal, um, although uh, it has been uh, uh, confirmed by the U.S., but there, there are many questions are raising up. Who was this person? Why it was uh, not uh, his identity was not shared with the world, and, and also the people who were killed, their families. They want to know who the masterminder was. Just by telling, I think those families that uh, he has been killed is not enough. How significant uh, is this, do you think? Does this indicate the Biden administration uh, is relying more on the Taliban to confront terrorist threats? Well, there are, there are a few elements to it. Uh, first of all, uh, by confirming that uh, uh, the masterminder of the Daesh has been killed by the Taliban, what the Taliban wants to show by this is that they are determined to the agreement in Doha that they have signed with the with the uh, Americans. Secondly, they want to uh, show to the world and to the U.S. that they have a common enemy and they're fighting it uh, in Afghanistan. And thirdly, um, uh, the Taliban wants to show to the international community that Afghanistan Afghanistan is not a threat uh, to the world, and uh, they will try to secure their country and also will try to fight terrorism on their own. And one of the reasons why all this is happening is because the Taliban, they want to be recognized, they want to get recognition, and uh, for them to get the recognition, they need uh, assistance and uh, uh, from the international community, especially that they are meeting with the UN representatives uh, uh, in just a couple of days' time. Um, I think news as such will help the Taliban to show that they're determined uh, to be uh, taken serious and that they are fighting the terrorism in the area. Yeah, we're coming up on uh, in just a few months' time, the two, two years since the Taliban uh, took over the country, and security has been a serious concern. Uh, is the Taliban starting to become more effective, you think, then, at rooting out terrorism and, and safeguarding the country? Well, if you look into uh, Afghanistan, uh, the, the whole world intelligence community was in Afghanistan to fight terrorism, but they failed. Uh, and today the Taliban are doing it on their own, uh, although uh, we understand that uh, they do get assistance from the international community. But the Taliban are doing it on their own without uh, NATO being there or U.S. being there or any other troops being uh, on the ground in Afghanistan. I think uh, Taliban uh, have got the control of the whole uh, Afghanistan. But what is really lacking uh, to the Taliban, I think, is the recognition. And the reason why they're not getting recognition is because of the, the bans that uh, they are uh, giving every day, especially uh, uh, in regards to how they treat a woman or the work of the woman or education. I think that is one of the main reasons that uh, is lacking in the country. But otherwise, when we talk to the Afghans uh, back home, they say that the security is much better than it used to be before. At least we Afghans are not getting killed every day like they used to be before. Um, uh, but uh, what is uh, uh, a problem in the country is... Uh, uh, lack of education and also lack of uh, uh, work. Mm, yes, yeah, certainly still many problems uh, there in the country. Diva Patong joining us from London. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.